Hello and welcome to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, having more troubles with my water heater. I called the manufacturer, they told me what the problem is and they were right. They said for this style water heater, here's what's happening 95% of the times. If your pilot is going out on a regular basis and you have a newer water heater, you'll know it's newer if you have kind of this style controller. That's a good indication that it's newer. That uh, the problem is that it's not getting enough air. I'm going to show you the problem and then I'm going to teach you how to fix it. So let's dive in. This style water heater needs to take in air for the flame. So what it does is it takes the air in underneath this water heater. You can look on the left and on the right and there's no air intake. Some water heater models do have it on the sides. A lot of them have it on the bottom. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So if I take this cover off here and I can look through that little glass piece and I can see into where my flame is. I have my water heater turned off and I let it cool down a little bit just so I could do this video. And when you clean out your filter grate, which is what I'm gonna teach you how to do, you also need to turn off your water heater, turn it to the off position here and let it cool off a little bit. So I'm gonna turn off the light here so I can show you with a flashlight exactly where that filter grate is. So here's into that little flame area. And if I put a flashlight under here, there you go, you can see that filter grate. It's basically the metal has just been sort of corrugated so that it's got these little holes in it. The holes, while there's a lot of them, they're really close together. So as this thing's sucking in a whole bunch of air, which it needs to, right, then it's collecting dust, debris, and then pretty soon it doesn't go through. So because it doesn't go through, then your pilot's going out, especially with these newer controllers, it's saying we don't have enough air. So you can see there, mine is pretty clean because I have cleaned it recently, but I bet you yours is dirty. So let's turn that light back on. So what you need to do, again, with the water heater off, is get a brush like this guy. You need to stick it under here, and you kind of have to feel around, and I'm also gonna push up on the brush, or sort of pull up on the brush, and I'm just gonna kind of scrape around a little bit. Try to get back as far as I can. And here it's scraping away and just kind of back and forth, front and back, trying to clean up that area. And then when I'm done, I kind of try to scrape out some of that dust and debris, and then I'll come back with a vacuum and clean that up. So spend a couple minutes, clean up that grate, and then you can put this cap back on. By the way, you don't have to take this cap off. I just did that for demonstration purposes, but I'll put this guy back on, and then I can go ahead and light my pilot. By the way, if you need some help lighting your pilot, subscribe to this channel, check out my other videos on water heaters, and I teach you how to light this guy. All right, friends, hope this helped you out. Hit subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you next time. Bye.